Potomac farmer in Louisiana is facing backlash and financial losses after recently posting on Instagram about celebrating the Sacred Heart of Jesus during the month of June rather than what he called, quote, attempted coup of the month. Ross McKnight, owner of Backwater Foie Gras Farmstead, says that he lost a whopping two-thirds of his restaurant business due to the post about the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the feast of which is tomorrow. And joining us now is Ross McKnight, owner of Backwater Foie Gras Farmstead. Ross, so good to be with you today. Uh, first off, tell us a little bit more about what you posted on Instagram and why you felt it was so important to do so. Sure. Well, uh, we've all noticed the, the mounting attack on the family. As uh, Pope John Paul II said, this, this would be the last battle, really, the assault on the family. And so as we've seen that uh, become more and more powerful, uh, in opposition to God's law, it seemed necessary to just be a little more pointed with our message this year. I think last year we also celebrated the Sacred Heart during the month of June and promoted that. But this year, you know, we were just a little bit more uh, outspoken as to what it is we're opposing. So, Russ, were you surprised, um, you know, at the backlash that you received because of it? And did you think that you would lose some business, you know, over expressing your faith and opinions? Well, it's always possible, right? <laughs> um, we've, uh, but people know that we're Catholic because we'll post things about major feast days, celebrating major feast days, celebrating the seasons. Um, you know, I've mentioned something about Réveillon and how its roots are Catholic. Um, so, you know, there's always that chance. It just, I guess, be, perhaps it was because we were a little more pointed. Perhaps it was just, you know, the, the straw that broke the camel's back that finally meant that, that people felt the need to drop us. But I think, you know, in the back of my mind, I probably always knew that it was inevitable. And at some point, we'd run afoul of, you know, people who don't, of course, share our values. So... Well, we thank you for your witness. And I'm wondering, you know, Ross, on the flip side, have you received any support in regard to your post or your business because of all this? Yes. You know, that's the thing is it, we went from being in a lot of distress um, to almost overnight everything being more than turned around and and just the, the outpouring of support from fellow Catholics and from people across the country who... Um, you know, hold those those same particular values has been extraordinary, um, really unbelievable, really providential. We've been well taken care of. Um, if people do want to support us, I would just recommend to, of course, uh, pray the pray the novena to the Sacred Heart this month um, and enthrone your home. Uh, maybe start the Sacred Heart devotion, because this is very clearly the this is the the, the banner we need to fight under. The the battle has been laid out before us. It's very clear and. And we just have to, you know, accept that that we have a part to play. Yeah, absolutely. And, and even all, you know, with all of that, I know that this probably has not been easy on you and your family. Uh, that said, I'm curious, Ross. You know, given the chance, would you do this again? Would you make that post again? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> knowing what I know now, I mean, a thousand times, yes. <laughs> but, um, but it's it's. It, it's just an honor. Um, it's an honor to, to serve Christ the King. And I don't, you know, I certainly don't deserve it. Um, none of us do. But uh, I don't know, you know. I'm, I'm a man. All men grow up. Uh, they, are, they are little boys at one point who want to be knights. And they want to serve a king. And that desire never really goes away, even if it's, you know, really some people have tried to erase it. But we all, we all, as Charles Coulomb says, we all really grow up monarchists, and it's not a question of when we, uh, when we become monarchists, but when we stop being them to where we had to become them again, because we all want to serve Christ the King. So it's an honor, and, um, and I'm so grateful, and so, great, so grateful that I was lifted out of um, those dark moments and, and really, you know, just shown an outpouring of love from God and from my my fellow Catholics, so I, I'm re very grateful, um, and really. Um, well, yes, Ross, we're grateful that you came. 
We're grateful that you came on today. Yeah, we're grateful that you came on today. We're almost out of time, but quickly, um, before we run out of time, I, I want to ask you this question. If people want to learn more about your farm and your products and what you all do, and maybe they want to help you out, where can they find more information? Certainly. Well, you know, we, now that this, this movement's going under the banner of the Sacred Heart, we're trying to raise funds for, for a chapel. Um, our local Latin Mass community doesn't have a chapel of its own yet, so we're working on that. If you follow our Instagram and you follow our uh, Facebook account, then you'll be able to follow that um, effort as well. And if you want to learn more about the farm, just go to backwaterfarmstead.com. Well, Ross, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. We're praying for you and your family, and we're grateful for your time today. God bless. Well, thank you, and God bless you.